here and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading going from November 30th to December 7th. This space has been cleared and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy and mine. So we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle the busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know whenever cancer content gets uploaded. Cancer content comes out every single Wednesday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal reading, please check out the description box below for contact information. If you're really feeling my vibe and would like to subscribe, you can find a link to my Patreon account in the description box below. Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings depending upon subscription level. Now, a little bit of astrology, all right? Mars is still retrograde in Gemini. Uh, that can mean a little bit of impulsive energy. It can also sometimes mean a little indecisive energy, and Mars is the action taker sign. So we are not really in action taker mode. We are in think about it mode and impulsively do things. Especially with Venus in Sagittarius, the Sun in Sagittarius, and Mercury in Sagittarius. Now, that transition from Sagittarius to Capricorn will start at the end of this uh, reading week. Okay, so December uh, 6th, we go from Mercury in Sagittarius to Mercury in Capricorn. Now, Sagittarius and Capricorns at their worst both are very harsh in their communication. At their best, uh, Capricorn will be very practical. It can even be, you know, very supportive, very loving. Um, and at their best, a Sagittarius is going to be very fun loving in their communication. But that is a conscious choice. Okay, is where I'm going to get at there. Neptune and dreamy Pisces, things not appearing what they, what they necessarily are. Romantic relationships that are just starting out. Not actually everything that we dream them up to be. Likely to be short-lived. Still okay to communicate with your partner about what you may or may not want to do. Just if your partner doesn't want to do what you want to do. Right? And I don't care what kind of thing we're talking about there. It doesn't have to be something dirty. Now, it could be something dirty if that's the way that you take that message. But whatever it is, because cancer is very home and hearth, family oriented, right? Whatever it is, the family is communicating. If you and them are not on the same page, right? Especially in your romantic relationships, don't get domineering, don't get bullying. Both those sons can be very big bullies when they're not getting what they want and they're in their, their negative mindset, okay? It's just a lot of holiday times right now. You don't know what stressors people have got going on. You know, be gentle. We're supposed to be kumbaya, peace, love, and happiness. It's the season of giving. Be generous. Messages for Cancer, November 30th to December 7th. 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 Messages for Cancer, November 30th. To December 7th, messages for cancer. November 30th to December 7th, messages for cancer. November 30th to December 7th, okay. Okay, so I will clarify all these cards, but before I do, past, present, near future, someone to you, you to the someone, balance, outcome, summary. So your recent past. You could have been interacting with a Leo. Any water sign, including yourself with Cancer, but that's also Gemini energy. But in your recent past, there was a need to be strong, is really more what I'm getting. Uh, a need to be strong because there was sadness. You were sad about something. Or someone, possibly a Leo, was expressing to you that they were sad. Or maybe you needed to use your intuition about sadness. But this is very heavy uh, Cancer energy right there. So. 
eight of cups in your present moment, you're walking away from something. You could be traveling, okay, holidays and all that good stuff. There's a lot of travel that happens. Um, but, you know, whatever you're walking away from here, it doesn't serve you. And you're walking towards your future here, okay? So it's not a bad thing. In your uh, near future, got a need for a rest. That's a Capricorn Aquarius energy right there in case you're interacting with any of them. Also is again a coward of travel just like the Eight of Cups but there's also a rest. So do you need to go on vacation? Maybe you're going on a vacation. I mean that that right there could very well indicate a, a vacation especially with this in the present moment. Moving towards a rest and travel. Someone you, Eight of Wands they want to talk. You to the someone you're feeling left out in the cold. What's up with that? Maybe you walked away from them or you feel like they're walking away from you. That's a possible interpretation. I mean, this is a general reading. Take it as it resonates. Scorpio energy there. In case you're interacting with another Scorpio or a Scorpio, another water sign, Scorpio. But it also could be a renewal. Balance is found in a renewal, which you would get from rest on a vacation. Okay. Outcome here is Page of Cups. That's a communication, possibly an apology, possible a love offer. Four of Wands, that's a relationship of some kind. This is the halfway to marriage card. If it's not romantic for you, there's two people, then it could be an official partnership. 1111 uh, might be insignificant for you, but it's also a card to keep going. The Justice card, that's Libra energy, but it's also about balance. The Lover's card, I mean, that's Gemini energy, but it's also the choice. Again, but two people and two people could be a relationship. This is definitely a relationship. This is definitely a relationship, but it doesn't have to be romantic in nature if that doesn't resonate for you. Justice card is also about the legal system. It's about marriage. It's about official relationships. Now, I use that term, and I, I gave a brief little explanation in the Aquarius reading about what I mean when I say an official relationship, okay? Because I realized that that can almost seem nonsensical to people. What do you mean official? What do I mean by official? I mean that this is a person of consequence in your life. A stranger on the internet almost has, only has as much influence on your life as you decide to allow their opinion to matter to you. Now, you can make that same statement about a bunch of other people, but it's in reality not true. If there's a conflict between you and your romantic partner, you can't just unfriend them. There are consequences. You have actions. You must, you must move out. You must, you know, and now start going different places, doing things differently. That is what I mean by a person of consequence. If you've got a problem at work, again... A person of consequence. You and your boss need to be on the same page. You and your partner need to be on the same page. You and your family, at least occasionally, need to be on the same page. These are people who have the ability to impact your life in such a way that if they were not in it, you would need to make alterations for sure in your life in a way that you're going to notice. Justice card can also be about the legal system, but again, if you have a reason to be in the court system, whatever happens there, right, it's uh, not something you can just opt. Once you've started on a certain path, if you're filing documents yourself, you know, you do get to a point of no return, and now it's a matter of a legal contract, right? So, I mean, official person. So some kind of communication about a need for balance or some kind of communication from an official person in your life, possibly a partnership that is already existing or will be coming up here soon, since this is in the future position. What is this strength card about in Cancer's past? What is this strength card about in Cancer's past? What is this strength card about in Cancer's past? Sorry, it's amusing to me. The strength card is clarified by the strength card. They really mean you need to be strong. Really strong. Really grounded. Or you're really, really talking to a Leo. I mean, this is a card of Aries and Taurus. But it could be any earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, and Plies here too. This is a card of Aquarius. It's also a wish fulfillment. An element of destiny. Maybe an earth sign is your wish fulfillment, Cancer. And you have a very strong reaction to each other. Could be your interacting with two separate people you know uh, but it doesn't have to be uh, it really feels like it's just your inner there's an element of destiny about the strength required to interact with whoever this earth sign is for you could be a boss 
because it's Aries and it is all the earth signs, but it's, uh, you know, kings are, can frequently be somebody in positions of authority. Okay. What is this five of cups about in Cancer's uh, past? Four of pentacles. What is this five of cups about? The sun, again, Leo energy, five of swords. I'd look up uh, angel number 55. See if that resonates with you. Uh, five of Cups is about sadness. Uh, and Five of, of Swords is about a conflict. Four of Pentacles, if you were holding on too tightly to something, some place, some situation, some person, you could uh, have had heartache over this because of a conflict. Some kind of fight happened. Um, again, this is Leo energy here. You got that twice up there with the strength card. Uh, you know, it's also a card of illumination. Maybe you found something out. And it made you hold on to something too tightly. And that brought about sadness in your past. A conflict and sadness. What is this Queen of Cups about in Cancer's past? I mean, that's your energy. Two of Wands. What is this Queen of Cups about in Cancer's past? Page of Pentacles. What is this? Queen of Wands about in Cancer's past. Six of Swords. You needed to move on. You communicated with somebody because of the sadness and this heartache, or somebody communicated with you. And then travel is indicating right here. But standing at a crossroads, not sure where you should go, trying to move into calmer waters because of whatever that sadness is. I mean, the Six of Swords is the moving on from the Five of Swords. That the energy is fluid. Right, so you moved away from something, or maybe you just moved in general, like physically picked up and moved. Maybe you're very mobile. What is this Eight of Cups about in Cancer's Present? Nine of Swords. What is this Eight of Cups about in Cancer's Present? Page of Swords. What is this Eight of Cups about in Cancer's Present? The Fool. That's Aries energy. In case you're interacting with one of those. This is also a card of spying. Maybe somebody's keeping eye and tabs on you. They're they're watching closely. It's also a card of truth. Maybe you discovered something. You found out some information. It brought about some sort of nightmare situation for you. You were forced to move forward with that eight of cups. You had to leave something that wasn't that was toxic in the past. Because I mean you can't build something new if you're constantly holding on to the past. I mean, think of it as like you have things in both hands and you want to do something else, you need to put something down. The past is always the best thing to put down. You learn from your past and then you move through the hurt into the emotions so you are healed, so you can move into the future without the garbage from the past. We throw garbage away, we don't keep it. Don't be a hoarder. Eight of Cups is moving forward and wanting a fresh start. You could be interacting with an Aries, but you don't have to be. You could be wanting for yourself this fresh start. That's what you're walking towards. You're like, nope to this and walking towards the future. What is this uh, Four of Swords about in Cancer's near future? Two of Swords. What is this Four of Swords about in Cancer's near future? Five of Pentacles. What is, oh, Power in Reverse. <laughs> Very clear, the tower in reverse. All right, so the two of swords is the minor arcana of the justice card. It's also Libra energy. Uh, it could just be indecisive. Again, it could be an official thing. You need a break from whatever this official thing is because you're feeling left out in the cold uh, and you don't like it because it's here's this and that's in the you position. It's you feeling left out in the cold. The tower in reverse. So not completely wiping the slate clean and having a fresh start. Because the towers are actually good things, but you're not ending something. Staying in this, this lack mentality of this of the five of, of pentacles there. And again, you went from the four of pentacles in the past there, and we're holding on to the five of pentacles in the future. Right? But you need to move past this five of pentacles. This tower is not a bad thing. People run away from the towers because they don't like change. Don't be like that. You don't want to hold on to things that make you feeling sad. Why would you want to hold on to your sadness? You learn from it. You move through it. What is the world card about here in Cancer's near future? 
the moon. That's Pisces energy. What is the world card about here in Cancer's near future? The king of swords. That's any air sign. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it is also a card of Capricorn. What is the world card about in Cancer's near future? Ace of Wands. You could be feeling a little iffy about travel. Could be interacting with an air sign. Because again, Libra energy, Libra energy, in case you're interacting with a Libra, but it's a fresh start. Someone is communicating to you that they want, you know, a passionate new beginning. They want a fresh start. You want a fresh start with the fool. They want a fresh start. You know, it's just, there's a little bit of in the feels here. Maybe there's some, you know, something feels like it's hidden. You don't have all the information. Maybe they feel like they don't have all the information, but travel is definitely indicated there, possibly travel to a Capricorn, so you know. Or Capricorn traveling to you, take that as it resonates. What is this Eight of Wands about in Cancer's future? Page of Wands, what is this Eight of Wands about in Cancer's future? Four of Swords, Ten of Cups. So this person wants to talk to you about happiness. Happy home, happy life. Ten of Cups, it's fantastic energy. That's everything. They see you as everything. They want to tell you they see you as everything. They want to talk to you. And they want to talk to you about this rest. This rest that possibly you need. Because you, you avoided some sort of tower situation with this indecision. You, you are feeling like you're left out in the cold. And you want to put an end to that feeling put out in the cold. You want to feel like something's not ending. And this person wants to talk to you about happy, happy stuff. So why are you feeling sad? What is this five of pentacles about in Cancer's future? The lovers. What is this five of pentacles about? Justice. Mm, what is this five of pentacles about? Three of wands. Looking at the future. Lovers. Gemini energy. Again, justice card. Mirroring what's... What's coming up in here in your summary? Right? This is in the you position. It's your relationship. It's your decision. If there's a court situation going on, it's yours. You're looking towards the future. And you're like, I don't want to be out in the cold. I don't want to. You're making a choice here. You're bringing something into balance. You're recognizing that there needs to be some kind of change so that you don't, like, are you missing this person? I mean, if they're at a distance from you, I mean, that can be the problem. They're at a distance from you. They don't want to be at a distance from you, and they don't want you to be at a distance from them, and you don't want to be at a distance from them. <laughs> Five of Pentacles, you're feeling left out in the cold. You don't like it. They don't like it. You don't like it. It's time for some travel. <laughs> I mean, that's a simple solution if both of you are feeling the same thing. <laughs> what is this death card about in Cancer's Balance? Seven of Wands. What is this death card about in Cancer's Balance? King of Wands. What is this death card about in Cancer's Balance? Nine of Wands. King of Wands can be any fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, also Cancer, though. Can be on the Leo. You do have a lot of Leo energy here in case you're embodying that. But you want a renewal. But you're feeling mighty defensive. Mm. Mighty defense. Seven of wands to the nine of wands, man. That's wounded warrior. That's you feeling like you got to defend something from other people because there's hands on all these wands. You feel like you have to fight for this renewal. Somebody trying to impede your travel plan. Somebody trying to whisper stuff up in your ear that uh, is, you know, BS. Because this person over here, they're communicating happy things to you. Okay. They're not trying to walk away from you. If somebody's trying to tell you that they're walking away from you, if that's coming in with some kind of communication, you need to talk to that person. Don't listen to what other people have to say about your relationships with other people. Okay? Talk directly to the person that you might have a problem with. 
or that is making you feel like you're out in the cold. What is this Page of Cups about in Cancer's uh, outcome? King of Cups. What is this Page of Cups about in Cancer's outcome? Three of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so Three of Swords is interference, but it doesn't have to be like somebody cheating, okay? It could be work is interfering. You know, maybe you were planning on a vacation and your boss is going, I don't think so. Right, you need to take that as it resonates. Now, this could be any uh, water sign, including yourself, heavy on the Scorpio, but also a card of Libra. So some communication coming in. Either you're putting out some communication or you have some coming in. You're, you're going to express some sort of, of sadness, heartache there. There's a need to be patient with this the seven of pentacles. There's a need to work on things, but there's also a need to be patient. What is this four of wands about in Cancer's future? Four of cups. What is this four of wands about in Cancer's future? Five of cups. What is this four of wands about in Cancer's future? judgment there's a choice to be made here that's scorpio energy a choice sadness is a choice nope energy is a choice four of, of wands 44 is another angel number you should look up and five 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 as you've gotten you know the five of cups again so it's a choice to be in nope energy it's a choice to be sad if you you want to be near this person this person wants to be near you things are copacetic otherwise you know you, you can't choose what other people do, but you can choose how you react to what other people do. Okay, it's a partnership. Lover's card. You've gotten the lover's card in another place as well. Yeah, four wands. I mean, it's a choice. Do you want to be sad? If you don't want to be sad, then look for the ways to not be sad. Look for the balance. Look for the ways to make things possible. What is this uh, justice card about in Cancer's? Summary, Two of Pentacles. What is this Justice card about? Knight of Wands. What is this Justice card about? Ace of Swords. Okay, so Knight of Wands can any fire sign. Uh, that is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Heavy on the Sagittarius energy. Knight of Wands is also Scorpio energy, in case you're interacting with a Scorpio. Uh it's also in and out energy. It's not consistent. And the two of, of pentacles, not consistent. Okay. There's some inconsistency happening here. The justice card in a contract and in in an official person, an official relationship. Ace of swords. That's the yes card. You get the ace of swords and the ace of wands in the same brick reading. That's a big deal. Okay. So it's a yes card. Yes, you can have balance. Yes, there is an answer. Yes, there is a way to work this out. Look for the balance. Stop being inconsistent. Okay? Look for the balance. Look for the compromise. What is this lover's card about in Cancer's near future? Seven of Cups. What is this lover's card about in Cancer's near future? Empress. What is this lover's card about in Cancer's near future? Queen of Swords. All right, so the Empress is Libra Taurus energy. Can be, uh, if you see this person, whoever they are, male, female, because uh, there's no gender in tarot, if you see them as like the complete package, then they would indeed appear to you as the Empress. They would have it all together. Queen of Swords is any air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Queen of Swords is heavy on the Libra. It's also a card of Virgo in case you're interacting with any of those signs. You have the Seven of Cups looking at options. Looking at options to make something possible. This partnership needs you to look at options. And it doesn't really mean like between two different people. Just look for ways to nurture, right? The Empress is a nurturing, loving energy. Okay, look for ways to bring clarity. Look for solutions. Queen of Swords is a thinker. The solutions are there. You got to put your brain to it. You know, you want this relationship. If you want, you can. I mean, you can choose to to be in sadness, or you can choose to look uh, for options. You can choose to communicate what you need and look for options. Advice for Cancer. 
November 30th to December 7th. Eight of Swords, Advice for Cancer. Queen of Pentacles, Advice for Cancer. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this imprisonment is self-imposed. Look, she's not... She is not bound. Look, no bindings. Bindings. No bindings. Bindings. Look at these. Look at these birds flying up around your head. Like, come on. That's like outside people. It feels very much like outside people are in your ear telling you, you can't do that. You can't do it. You can't. You can't. You can't have that. No, you can't. You choose to listen to them or you don't. You choose to be sad or you choose to be happy. You choose to look for the solutions. Whatever you are not changing, you are choosing. There is no way around that. Okay, and then you got this Queen of Pentacles. Okay, that is, could be any earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Also is a card of Sagittarius, but it's heavy on the Capricorn here. Heavy on the Capricorn. And you had other Capricorn energy pop up in here in other, other places. So this person, whoever they are to you, this Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, the match that is uh, laying out here in this, in this reading, you, they're part of your community. They are part of, it could be an official person, a boss of some kind. You know, it, there's no gender in tarot. We all embody feminine and masculine energy. We're all givers and receivers. Okay, so this person, whoever she is to you, she is in, you know, he, she, whatever, is in your uh, community. Right? There is, they are somebody you're up in your head about. The question is why? If there's something about them that you're not sure of, but the five of pentacles energy, the five of cups, you're feeling sad, you're unsure about something, you're feeling defensive, why not just talk to them? Why not just ask them? There might be more there than what you realize, and that person might be more flexible than what you think. There might be ways, if you put your heads together, that you find the solution to what you're looking for here. All right, if you have a yes or no question you would like, you know, answered, you should think it now, because this is the deck that answers it. Messages for Capricorn. No need to worry. Messages for Capricorn. There's something better. Messages for Capricorn. Yes, with an exclamation point. I don't know what you were thinking there, but it's a sure yes. No need to worry. Don't be all up in the Eight of Swords, man. Come on. Mental imprisonment does not lead you to solutions. You don't get positive results from a negative attitude. Right? If you, if you worry, you bring about... I, I heard that in a, a show I was watching once. Worries are prayers for things that we don't even want. Don't spend so much time worrying. Right? Think about the solutions. Don't think about the problems. You know the problems. You've thought about the problems. Look for the solutions. And be trying to find a way to make it possible, not a way to make it impossible. Advice for Cancer. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Advice for Cancer. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Advice for Cancer. What do you need to release? Waning moon. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. So if you thought you had a hard yes, hard no, and somebody's throwing up some roadblocks, nothing is yet set in stone means there's still maneuverability there. You can find it. Messages for cancer. Messages for cancer. Okay. Fairy glamour. Fairy glamour shifts you from one form to another, truly revealing your essence. Call upon your glamour when you have need of confidence and self-belief and gaze in awe upon your true self. See, there you go. You have the solution. It's in there. You know it. You can find it. It's there. The research just needs to be done. Don't assume that you can't. 
and everything is impossible. Don't come at it from a lack mindset. Don't come at it from a sad mindset. Look for the possibilities. Whatever you are changing, you are choosing. Don't be fatalistic. And don't be so rough on yourself. Offer yourself some compassion along with others. I hope that this helps, Cancer, because it's what I got for you. And just remember as you go about the world in this week that you are a child of the universe. No less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here.